Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel and today we do have a very serious video to talk about and before I get any further I do need to be very careful that people do not take the things that I say the wrong way because uh, as I'm gonna get into the details the most and most important thing for anybody watching this video that you should remember is that I am not trying to start a drama or ruffle any feathers and I do not solely blame any single person or I'm not throwing shade at any single content creator here. However, I am talking about the community and the general culture of this community when it comes to overhyping new champions. And unfortunately, I think we are reaching a place where it has already gotten out of control. And unfortunately, regardless of how harmless people think it could be and is, it generally does have real life implications and I will share a bit of my own story and my own experience as well. So please keep that in mind. I'm not trying to speak about any single person individually. I'm not trying to somehow diminish anybody else's opinions. I am putting out my own personal opinion and the reasons why I find it so important. So I have actually wanted to record this video for several months now and the reason behind this video is actually part of the reason why I started my YouTube channel altogether. And that is this champion overhyping culture. Unfortunately, there is not a single person to blame here at all in any degree, because whether people like to admit it or not, where there is demand, there will be supply. And since we as a community, unfortunately, like to be lied to, like to be misled, like to watch these hype videos, they are the videos that are getting predominantly made. It's the same idea of why you see so many crystal opening videos. Because there's a large group of players who like to watch other people opening crystals. It's quite simple as that. Nobody watched a single crystal opening video. Nobody would upload a single crystal opening video. It's, again, if there is a demand, there will be supply. And that is the base principle here. So my video purpose is to hopefully hopefully, even slightly reduce the demand for these <clears throat> champion hype videos because it does genuinely have real life implications. And the, one of the reasons why I am always cautious when it comes to reviewing new champions and telling exactly what I think and the reason why if I say some champion is going to be great or I like it a lot or I see a lot of potential in it, it's only if I genuinely believe that. I do not put it on a thumbnail for stupid clicks or for any other reason. And that is because I think that my videos and my opinions affect people's actions. It does affect how highly some people value the champion. It does affect whether someone is going to spend 100, 200 or no money on a new champion. Or whether somebody is going to spend three days of their life grinding for the champion. So therefore, by definition, I'd much rather be wrong and undersell a champion because then at the very least the person who listened to my opinion still gets a chance down the line to acquire that champion if it turns out the champion is amazing then oversell every single champion that's coming out and unfortunately that is the case look at 2021 20, champions literally all of them with the possible exception of stripe suck but literally all of them had very loud, lavish champion review titles and showcases. Beyond Beyonce tier, insane yellow numbers, crazy amount of utility. Fact of the matter is that so far none of the 2021 champions have actually demonstrated some sort of value. And don't get me wrong, there are several ways how to look at the quality of champion. You can look at it from a newer player's perspective. For instance, if Jubilee is your third 5-star, will she put in work for you? Yes, she obviously will, and therefore she is a helpful champion to you. Or you can look from a perspective of somebody who is more experienced and who has choice. Whether there is any reason to give Jubilee a tier 5 class catalyst over Omega Red. Whether there is any reason to give Jubilee a tier 5 class catalyst over Apocalypse. And I don't think that any person with sane consciousness would say that Jubilee... <laughs> is worth that tier 5 class catalyst right now in the game outside of any reason except fun and that's a valid reasoning i am all for people ranking champions for fun 
but at the same time understanding that there are different qualities of champions and there are significantly better champions than are champions that serve no real purpose in this game right now like super scroll he's shit offensively and he is not overly potent on defense either there's very very little reason to take him up outside of possibly semi-diversity alliance war defense if you're playing super hardcore alliance war or in case you really like super skull and you want to have fun with it but the problem is because these champions are hyped up not by kabam and if Kabam was the one releasing every single video hyping up champions saying it's going to be insane on their own channel, that'd be one thing and people would look at it much more cautiously. The problem is when the champion is hyped up by your favorite YouTuber, when your alliance officer links all of these crazy videos and look at what Jubilee can do. Oh my God, she hit 200k special. And then people go and try to get the champion right because it's coming from somebody that you trust because these same people who are saying jubilee is insane utility god tier whatever are also the same people to whose opinions you genuinely trust when it comes to going through variant 5 defeating act 6 dealing with 7.1 bosses because there is this split currently where when it comes to how to clear content and guides, content creators genuinely, wholeheartedly can put their hands on their hearts and say they're trying their best to be honest and to recommend the best options and to try and get people through the quest the best way possible. But for whatever reason, and the reason is that community apparently likes to be lied to, likes to be misled, likes to be hyped up, it's not the same case for champion reviews. Champion reviews, unfortunately, at large have become extremely dishonest. And again, the reason for it is because people prefer that. Because people prefer, oh my god, look at 200k special attack uh, from Jubilee video over Jubilee is probably going to be meh video, right? If those videos would be the ones that people want to watch, that those videos are would be the ones that would be made, if that makes sense. And why is it a problem? As I said, because it's coming from people that you trust and whose opinions you value. You're going in people's live streams, you're asking for rank up advice, you watch their guides, and you have accepted them as people whose opinions you value. Problem is because that those opinions are not entirely genuine often when it comes to advertising your champion. Because at that point, those are much less guides or reviews or genuine opinions and much more tinder dating profiles for new champions this is the new apocalypse this is the new corvus this is the new nick fury or whatever people put the champion's best face best foot forward and ignore the downsides of any champion and here is the main the biggest reason why i personally find the problem because all of these text videos thumbnails are coming from people that many people trust that is also the reason why many people grind for them that is also the reason why many people buy them and when the money gets involved unfortunately this game can be very addictive and this game is in a lot of ways very similar to gambling and often people end up spending money they don't count or often people end up spending money they shouldn't. And that is a big problem for me. As I said, at the very least, I can genuinely say, if I say that I think the champion is going to be great, I genuinely believe it. If you have been watching my channel, you probably have seen that I have been on the critical side for most of the release champions. Because fact of the matter is, I look at them from a perspective of whether they deserve my units, whether they deserve my catalyst. Not that every champion has something unique and special to showcase. It might be that every champion has something unique and special, but even those things that they do have sometimes are just not worth it. Often they are not just worth it. And the problem is when that information is left out. The problem is not with somebody uploading a video saying, 
this is the best this champion can do those videos are perfectly fine and i make similar videos but uh, but you also need to make sure that people watching the video understand that it is like an ultimate rigged showcase it's kind of like a champion's tinder dating profile there are a ton of negatives about the champions that are always omitted right and i hear a lot of stories and i am 100 percent sure, sure that i don't hear even more stories because often people are ashamed about their problems addictions or just when they quote unquote break and spend the money on the game and it's a very very big issue where every champion gets hyped up until their release and then nobody hears about that champion because they're not that good but at the same time there were dozen two dozen three dozen hundred few hundred people who spent hundred two or three or five or whatever <laughs> hundreds of pounds or dollars based on these reviews who possibly didn't even pull the champion but possibly they did and the champion sucks and they realize it a few months down the line and again this is not a problem of a single content creator this is not a problem of a single player this is the culture unfortunately where people like only hearing the positives people like only looking at the bestest the shiniest thing people don't like to talk about the downsides people don't like to accept that uh maybe something's not as good as it originally seemed there are obviously other factors of the new and shiny therefore you must get it and there is the former fear of missing out just in case that champion turns out to be amazing there are a lot of things going in it but I think one of the bigger things is a lack of realistic valuation of these champions. And again, very important that nobody takes this the wrong way. Don't think there is any single content creator at fault there. I think uh, what CCP is becoming is part of it. But the reason why it is having such a big impact is because that is what people watch. That is what people like to see. And unfortunately, these days, people like somebody else to do their thinking for them. And therefore, this is the main point. This is the one most important point of this video. Do not let anybody do the thinking for you. Look at whatever information is available and draw your own conclusions. Be critical. Question everything. Do not blindly trust anything I say or anybody anyone else says. Do your own thinking. Whenever a new champion gets released, think long and hard whether a champion will have any impact on your account. Think long and hard whether you need that champion at all or whether if the champion will have an impact on your account, how important it is and how important it is that you try everything you can to get that champion right now. And most importantly, think long and hard whether you can afford it. That is the bottom line. Took me a while to get there. I hope you guys agree. I hope you guys forward this video to as many people as you possibly can. Because genuinely, I have had personal experience with that, which I'm not very happy where I have spent money that i didn't have which caused me problems that i could have avoided that i'm still sorting out in my real life now because of the shiny shiny new oh my god this is beyond beyonce tier champion you must get it and it's stupid i was stupid i made the mistakes and nobody else is responsible for them ultimately i am responsible for my bad decisions that i have made in the past but at the same time Things that lead to me making a bad decision. My decisions are affected by outside factors. And I believe this is one of the worst and most critical points in the community right now. That trips, that pulls, that hurts, genuinely hurts 
a lot of people playing this game is this overhyping culture. So please, please, do not let anybody think for yourself. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about